So I wanted a wall thing to hold my bracelets. Very specifically, I wanted to make the wall thing with arms from a toy. So like dinosaur arms, very specifically was what I wanted. So I went to a thrift store because where else do you get a random bag of kids toys? And I found these bags of dinos. Um, the thrift store I went to, I forgot why I stopped going to that thrift store until I got to that thrift store. And immediately the second I stepped foot, I was like, oh my, I remember why I stopped coming here. So I'm not going to go back there. Oh, so anyways, that was an experience. I bought my dinos and I left. <sighs> um, my issue with that one, one of my issues, I have many issues with that one, but one of my issues is that it's too big. And another issue is that the prices in that particular thrift store, literally you can get a $13 dress in that store used or you walk literally next door and you can get a $14 dress brand new so I go next door and I get real clothes new instead and there's less people I really just I'm not okay with being around in a big crowd like that it makes me so uncomfortable I don't like a store with too many people in it I already don't like to shop as it is I mean I just I don't like to shop Window shopping, fine. Shopping online, that can be amazing. Shopping in a store with lots of people, I'm not here for that. I'm not here for a crowd at all. So anyways, I got these dirty germy toys from some random child somewhere in the world. So I had to clean them with bleach because there's no way I was going to touch those with my hands until they were cleaned. So I put them in one of my craft tins, that's my favorite craft tin, that round one. Put a little bleach in there, a little hot water, a little soap. Let them soak for a little while, clean them all off, dry them all off. And then I felt like they were safe to touch. Um, I used, so I brought in, I found our, what is that thing called? A saw. I found our saw. It's really hard to get it down. I have spatial reasoning skills. It was stuck on the wall. I managed to get it down, but then I didn't need it. I used my X-Acto knife for this, and that actually worked pretty well. I tried to use the screwdriver that I have. I keep a screwdriver in my room for various reasons. Um, this is my special screwdriver. It's a flathead. It's the best. It, it was too big for this. The screws on the toy were much smaller. I needed like a glasses screwdriver for that one. But instead, I just went with the X-Acto knife because it's faster than trying to find a screwdriver. In order to find a little screwdriver, I would have to go to the basement. And oh my goodness, that's not happening because you'd have to dig through our tools. Our tools are a mess. Oh my goodness. The basement used to be really, really organized. I don't know what happened. It's kind of organized, but it's a mess. There was a lot of cool stuff in the house when we bought the house. So we were gathering all the cool stuff from all the spaces and we kept putting it all in the same place in the basement and it got unwieldy. Funny side note, we found a box filled with um, adult magazines from the 70s and it was so heavy, we couldn't even get it out of the house. And then when we finally did get it out of the house, we thought, what do we do with this? I'm not gonna try to sell it, ew. I don't want to give it to someone because that's also a little ew. And then like you can't throw it away because the weird trash situation here is you have to use these stupid trash bags and they're $2 per trash bag, but the trash bag is the thinnest, worst thing ever and it won't actually hold any weight. So if you actually try to throw stuff away, your bag will tear. And if your bag tears, the trash dudes aren't supposed to take it back. So tr getting rid of trash here, not a good, not good. I don't like this coast anymore. If you can't tell, I'm a little done with this coast. So anyways, blah, blah, blah. I don't remember how on earth we got rid of all of those really heavy magazines. There were so many. So there's a lot of cool stuff we found in this house. That particular item, not necessarily cool, but interesting. Um, and there was so much of it. We found some of it in the attic and some of it in the basement. Oh, Lordy. And not just like in the attic. It was, so our attic is, you know, partway finished. And partway, it's just like boards and roof space. The boards and roof space where you're not supposed to have your body is where the dude who owned the house before us, their son, would hang out and we found partially drank alcohol and, you know, his magazines and some chairs and stuff just in the rafters up there when we were playing in the attic one day. Like what? You just wandering around. Also, our attic isn't built to code because there was no such thing as code. A hundred years ago, the house is 99 technically. it would be hundred next year. So, you know, like code, you're supposed to have a certain amount of space between your boards. Ours is any rhyme or reason. The board is just wherever it wants to be. There is nothing. It, this. Oh. So yeah, buy a 99 year old house and see what you find in it. Oh my goodness, it's been an experience. So anyways, back to this project that I'm over here just blabbling through because it's a little slow. Cut off all their limbs, throw them in my pan. And then I gesso everything with acrylic gesso because it helps hold paint better. 
Oh, also I needed a piece of wood for this. I was originally going to use a piece of wood that was just like long and flat, but I only had what I had and I was not going to the basement to go look for the wood by myself. So I went to the apothecary and I stole a piece of my mom's wood. She has these like flat sheet things she found somewhere in the house. I took one of them, those, those wood things. And then you cover it with the gesso on both sides, even if you're not going to paint the other side because it, it needs to be safe to handle. There's a little, it's a little rough and there's a few little bits. So you want to paint them down so that you can actually touch it, whatever wood you use, or sand your wood. I was not going to sand this flat thing. Just paint it and the edges so that it's safe to touch, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, okay, also I gesso all of the dinosaurs and I don't technically just remove all the limbs off the dinosaurs. I keep like the occasional body because I think it's kind of cool. And then either the hat or the tail or whatever, anything that can hold a bracelet or a ring. Um, yeah, so then on a piece of wood, I wanted to paint my piece of wood. Technically you could have done this whole thing with just spray paint and it would have been a lot faster, but I only have three cans of spray paint. And for some reason, I don't just buy other cans of spray paint. Well, I, technically when I do, I use it all up for whatever project. I did spray paint some flower boxes in the yard. They're so cute. My goodness. I did not think they'd come out as good as they came out. I lost my train of thought. So I wanted to use watercolor for this. I have no idea if this was like, I don't know. Blah, blah, blah. Splap down some colors and just schmoomble it all together. If you schmoomble it all too much, it'll just become one giant color. So it just kind of became purple. I, I did that too much. But in my defense, the brush I was using, all of the um, hairs kept coming out of the brush. So I kept trying to like pick them back up. And then I was trying to like smooth out the parts that I was picking the hairs up off of. So ultimately when I went to go wash that brush, you know, you do the thing to pull out loose hairs. The whole top of this, that's not a sewing machine. What is that thing you paint with? The whole top of the paintbrush came off of my hand. So that was amazing. So then after it's dry and you can handle it, I need a back of some sort. I always do the same kind of back. I took two little scrap pieces of felt from some random project. It doesn't have to be a big fancy piece. Cut them into little squares. And then for my tie, I wanted um, kind of strong. So I did a, a ribbon. It's not a ribbon. What's it called when you, a braid. I did a braid of three different colored embroidery threads so that it'd be strong. And I chose pink, a glittery white and a regular white so that there'd be a little touch of something fun going on in the, what is that thing called? Braid. And then you hot glue both sides down on the back. You just put a blob of hot glue, put the string down, the hot glue over it, and then the felt on top, smush it all down. And it stays really well. That is how I do the backing on everything I, I hang for the most part. I actually don't think there's ever a different way I hang stuff. It's the easiest way. So anyways, then I take the hot glue and I hot glue all of my little dinosaur pieces just randomly around this piece of wood that I have. Um, again, it's not even remotely how I had pictured it because... It's a completely different shape of wood, but whatever, it works. So the hot glue doesn't entirely work. They do try to come off a little bit with the hot glue. So I'll add another kind of glue after, but I need the hot glue so I can paint the gold part because I didn't want to try to paint the gold part by hand because then every time you like your fingers are on it, you're going to miss spots. So I hot glued them all to my wood. And then I used an acrylic gold. Did I already mention that the base is watercolor? I did a watercolor wood. And then I did acrylic gold for the actual, what are these guys called? Dinos. So I did, I did do two coats because after one coat, it's a little, eh. but then after the second coat, it's good. I don't feel like doing another coat. It's good enough. I don't want it to be like too painted up, but also not, not enough. So anyways, user's choice with how many coats you feel like waiting to dry. It dries pretty fast. I mean, it's just thin little piece of plastic. It's not bad. And then after I finished painting the gold, two coats of gold, I use I really don't have a lot of glue options at the moment. I have um, Gorilla Glue, but it's like it's like not even like a Gorilla Glue I've ever seen before in my life. It's this thick, I mean, it says original, but I've never seen brown Gorilla Glue. I've never seen any that's this thick. So this is just the um, super glue I wound up using. I don't know where I even got this. Technically I had a different super glue, but I gave it to the neighbors because I wasn't using glue for a long time and now it's like here two three years later and magically where did this come from did my mom go needing a glue and i just wasn't there for it because i'm there for everything i'm always there i'm her lung or her leech i am her leech i'm like a tick <laughs> and i don't know where this came from I would think I was the one who bought it though, if it's a craft item, or even if we were just fixing something, because that's usually what I do. I am the stay-at-home wife, if you haven't figured that out, for my mother. We are um, we, we are a quasi-couple here. For a while, she was supposed to be the stay-at-home wife, but after I got injured, um, yeah, I'm, I'm still not supposed to lift more, lift more than 20 pounds and stuff. 
I'm so much better though. Let me just say those doctors were terrible and I did a lot better fixing my own spine. And now I can actually like function like a person at least somewhat. So yeah, I'm a stay at home wife for my mother. Completely lost my train of thought. Don't know what I was trying to say. But here's my fun piece of art in my completely ramble chaos video that my, this is how my brain works in the morning. If you can't tell, it is everywhere, everywhere. I'm like a ping pong machine. Is that what those are called? You know, where you and the ball goes. That's not what those are called. It's not ping pong. Ping pong is the one with the <sighs> I don't have words. Words are really hard. But yeah, here's my weird thing. I uh, both love it and hate it. I uh, am more on the love it side because I like when my stuff is weird and funky and it's not what I was picturing, but it is what I wanted. I wanted something to hang my bracelets from so that I could actually pick them off easily and use them. Otherwise, because if they're on something that's hard to get them off of, I just don't use them. I keep the object as decoration. So now I'll actually be able to take them off of this and use them. So I think that's fun. Welcome to my chaos ramble. This is how my brain works in the mornings. Ugh, I don't know if anything I said made any sense, but like, okay. <laughs> Good morning.